Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Lord Lamo, and we're here once again, I think it's this one, yeah, it's probably the second one. Here once again with Penny Arcade on the Rain's Like Precipice of Darkness. Yay! Now, if you'll note, the map from the first game's still there, but they've just added other shit onto it. I think that's quite a nice touch, rather than just showing all only the new areas. Now, anyway, here we are, back outside, um, the Riverbrook Park Estates. Hope while he's down that way, let's talk to our old friend Curtis Swindle. Curtis, is that you? The shock is evident, and tectonic. He works to regain his composure. Those tricks, Curtis. If he recognizes you from before, he doesn't reveal it. I'm Curtis Swindle, reputable vendor. I sense a hunger in you, a hunger for bargains. As a purveyor of unbelievably yet wholly legitimate merchandise, I'm in a position to satisfy you in absolute terms. Fucking epic. Now, I'm not going to ask him what he's selling yet, because what he sells is at a ludicrous, ludic <coughs> ludicrous price. Yeah, dynamite. Oh, if you remember in the last game, I, he was selling, a uh, like the top of a... Fuck, what do you call it? It's one of those old-timey record player things. Well, he was selling the top one of those, and I said not to get it, because it's only for music. It turns out I let you people down. Get it, and you get a special support character in this game. I apologize for being wrong about that, but, you know, I'm only human, barely. I know I'm wasting lots of the good items you get, but, you know, I just don't fucking feel like fighting all these brute fuckers, they're annoying as hell. Thus cementing just how lazy I am, in absolute terms. But such is life, such is life, such is life. Boom, boom, boom. All three gone, and that gets us some more robot parts. And me and Gabe level up, and Gabe gets the second attack. The Vulgar Ark. There's another young couple in love, let's go... Oh, well, they're blonde, I'll give them that. Durr, eat rake. Haha, I block you. Now I know Gabe's charged up, but his um his uh everything here is weak to him, so I'm just gonna like let him charge up his super attack, that way we can maybe do a bit more damage. Oh damn I went with the first one. Weak to special attacks and punches? It's like science Christmas all over again. Yay! Booyaka! And yet still no defeat. Shit. <laughs> Shit. One down. Oh, she ran off. And healed herself. God damn you, succubus! Oh, and there we go. I don't want to talk! I want to kill you with my fists of rage and bloodlust. Whoa! Brock! Oh, she she blocked it? Huh, didn't know you could block those. Oh, I didn't think she couldn't, but oh well, proven wrong. The things you learn. punches. I'm just gonna let my guy and uh, Tycho's super meters charge up at the same time, that way I can show you their team up move, because I don't believe I ever did. Yeah, It's some roly-poly badass action. Now it's possibly the best name ever. I didn't read it because, well, it's the best name ever and reading it instantly kills you. Indeed they're positively ancient. Although I care not for your jewels, I simply care for killing you with my bare hands. And rake. And shotgun. Gay. You know, I feel guilty about killing these random people and then I remember something. I don't care. 
I mean, they attacked me. I'm just walking by. They think it's okay to start shit. We're, we're gonna finish shit. I mean, hell. I didn't start this fight. They started it. At least that's what I'll tell the police when they find the bodies. Oh, and is anyone else excited about heavy rain and star ocean? Those games look like they're gonna fucking kick ass. Heavy rain especially, simply because I love the, uh, other game they made, Fahrenheit, back on the PS2. Shit was like cocaine to me. Oh, damn you, Gabe. That's pretty awesome, I kill him, but... You know, I... was kinda hoping I'd kill him and finally get Gabe an overkill. Which I don't seem capable of doing very well at all. Haha, 522 damage, bitch! Da -da -da. Boom. Now you might be wondering, hey Greg, didn't we come here to get something for Anne Claire? The answer is yes, we did. And we're going to get it. Now if you remember she wants a gold 14mm bowl. But my eagle-eyed viewers are people who actually pay attention during my videos ago. But Greg, you delightful numbskull, you picked up a 13-inch bowl in the last video. And I'll be like, yes I did. Now shut your bitch hole so I can tell you why. Or you see... Well, you'll find out in a second after... You just die. There we go. Doodaloo. Nobody levels up and we get three sticks of dynamite. Sexy awesome. What I want to do is come over here to this beautiful machine. Don't worry, Truffles. Mumsy's having a little fun. Aww. Okay, socks are awesome. I agree with Gabriel on this part. Gabriel approaches the machine, his face distorted by the curve of the tank. How do we get this fucker home? Alright, what you want to do is try gilding the bolt. I know, we've got one here, let me just dig it out. I really think we're onto something with this. Put it in the 13mm bolt. Like a roulette ball, you toss in the bolt. In the sidearm, it clatters and then comes to rest. Gold now coats the bolt. It's slightly larger as a result. So you see, now we have a gold 14mm bolt. If you'd went in with a 14mm bolt, you would have got a, uh, you know... You can't gild anything else, sadly. You'd end up with the uh, golden 15mm bolt, which you don't want because you want a golden 14mm bolt. And as we all know, science is very specific about what it wants. Now for more concept art. Once again, click the middle and you get concept art 7. I believe I've probably missed some, but don't worry, I'll go back and cover them eventually. Because I revisit this place like four times. Also keep an eye out for those cash receipts. I haven't because I don't think I need them yet. I could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I have the cold. Or I'm probably going to get the cold. Regardless, lightning juice. And over here it's time for some more fight action. Out of my way, vagrant. Huh. Shit. Now you want to try and finish these people at the front really quick, because if you don't, well, the people at the back will just power the hell out of themselves. Disturbed. Wronged. Violated. These are only a few things I feel right now. Yeah, he's the only one that can counterattack Blight Day because he's the only one with a ranged weapon. It makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Frost breaker, bitches! Shit. Oh. Berg. I just love that move because it just seems. Oh, this is bad. No, we don't. We don't need to talk. Oh God, the talking it hurts. <laughs> Quit it. Quit it. Dirk!
I hate you guys. Partial damage! Well, I got rid of one. Taiko, time to go. Haya! Uha! Oriaga! Do look at her! Look at you! Shiki! Boom! Not a headshot! Aw, oh, damn it, he ran off! Bitch! And, dude! Well, speaking of bitch and dude, we're almost out of time. Well, we'll just pick up from here next time. See you all around.